Taylor Swift's red scarf. Tori, you've been posting a lot Stop about it. this. I'm what? so excited to hear Tori's opinion. What? So her red scarf is getting a lot of attention. So the scarf first appeared in her song All Too Well and also is shown in the short film, in this short film. Watch. Left my scarf there at your sister's house and you still got it in your drawer even now. So at the end of the film, the boyfriend, who many say is based on Jake Gyllenhaal, is seen wearing the scarf years after their breakup. So the red scarf also appears in Taylor's new video. She gives it to her ex's new bride as a gift. Jake hasn't commented on anything or if he still has the scarf, but guess who has? Mm -hmm. Dionne Warwick recently tweeted, quote, if that young man has Taylor's scarf, he should return it. It does not belong to you. Box it up. I'll pay the cost of package, postage, Jake, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Dion so, Warwick's become this new like social comedy. She really has. I yeah. love it. So you're invested in this. Tell us. Okay, let me just first start off by saying some of you are not her demo, so this won't you won't react mentally and emotionally to the same scarf. Girls like me who are really romantic and sentimental and boys, I had a lot of romantic feelings and a scarf left that smelled like me in like college and high school is a very strong sense memory for a lot of us out there, right? The guy kept it or you kept the hat or the sweatshirt or whatever. This red scarf, because why it's important is it's the thread in the tapestry of all of Taylor Swift. She's always the dumpy. She's always the one left. She's always the one trying to get revenge. And so it's her brand. This red scarf is so much her brand. She's selling red scarves at taylorswift.com. She is right now? For $35. Wait, she's selling red scarves right now? Correct. And she's banking it in. Look she's at ma Al. Maybe it's just a marketing ploy, though. Maybe Al, there you is can no sleep. Can I say something? But you can sleep. She ain't sleeping on all the money. You're not her demo. She's not speaking to you. She's speaking to me, who's quietly crying in the shower in the dark. <laughs> or she's playing you, and she's making bucks off Of course off she is, you, but that's entertaining. All the way to the bank. But that's entertainment. I love her whole brand because it got me through a lot of, can you wake up? I know, come on, you're on a TV show. Get with sorry. it. She's making millions and billions here and you're falling asleep. You shouldn't be sleeping on that because she's really I'm sorry, I should around. be wide awake for the red scarf gag. <laughs> uh, uh, Tori, I get it, but it like, let's stop acting like she's doing this as a way to help her fans get through something. If she really was, she would either take that money from those uh, sold scarves and donate them she somewhere. She might be. Or, you're also very pro-capitalist, and yet the second she wants to do something pro-capitalist, you I, don't like it. I am not saying that she does not have a right to sell them. I'm just saying I think that I, we're looking way too deep in the fact that she's just kind of rehashing things that have already happened. Is the happened. rehashing working? It it's would work. She could sell anything. She's got to die her fan base. It's like Kiss. They can sell anything with the merchandise. So, yes, of course, she'll always, she could sell buttons and they would sell the same. It's not like, that's not I the, bet what she's we're talking about. I for charity, but go ahead, Jeff. I for see you trying to get in there. Yeah, I'm trying to get in there because I'm not going to speak to their demo either. I'm not going to speak <laughs> to your demo. I'm going to speak to my demo. Okay. If someone came and gave my wife a scarf from 10 years ago at my <laughs> wedding, you'd get punched in the face. That's not, my, that's not your demo, that's but that's how video. I would that's handle it. That's the video, it. the oh, music so video. You mean like no re -gifting. What is she teaching you? Young kids. I'm sure it's it's more symbolic yeah. than like a symbolic literal what? re gift. It's an art a re gift. It's not you a have real this, You have this scarf that's very personal to your relationship, and you go to someone's wedding and you wrap and it around their the, and give it to the wife and wrap it around their neck. It's literal. I How yeah, dare it's you? Literal. It's figurative. That's literally no. literal. We just saw the video. It's exactly literal. A we red it. scarf. A music video is a piece of a creation of art that's about the song and the spirit of Maybe the song. Maybe I lost that's it because it was ten minutes long. Yeah. Look, you don't want to hear it. That's great. Do I want to hear even more of it? Yes. You want to hear more of a 10 minute song. I want to hear so much more of Taylor Swift, honestly. Well, don't worry, she's re-recording everything. And guess what, she's making way more, and guess what, she should, to own her own catalog. So bravo to her. Now Jessica Simpson is doing it, and a lot of our other artists. Billy Joel wished he had done it. I'm proud of her for sticking up and getting her own catalog back. That's a big move. Amen, Tori, I'm right there with you, girl.